This tutorial explains how to perform a thermal stress analysis in LISA. Thermal stresses occur when temperature differences in a part, result in non-uniform expansion, or contraction. If the final temperature is uniform over the entire part, the problem is simple, and can be done directly in the default static analysis. For example, this model is fixed on two sides, and heated from an initial temperature of 22 degrees Celsius, to a uniform temperature of 80 degrees Celsius. To specify the initial temperature, right-click Loads and Constraints, select New Thermal Stress, then type 22. To specify the final uniform temperature, first select the entire model. Then right-click Loads and Constraints, select New Temperature, then type 80. Next, solve the model, and view the results. If the final temperature is not uniform over the part, a thermal analysis will first need to be performed, to obtain the temperature distribution. The results from the thermal analysis, will then be transferred to the static analysis model. For example, to obtain the temperature distribution of this part, a thermal analysis will first be performed. Associate a thermal conductivity with the elements. Select the exposed surfaces, and apply a convection to them. Select, and apply a fixed temperature to the load-bearing surface. Next, run the solver. The result shows the non-uniform distribution of temperature, over the part. To determine the stresses due to this non-uniform distribution of temperature, right-click Analysis Types, select Edit, then switch to 3-dimensional, Static Analysis. Right-click the material associated with the elements, select Edit. Select Isotropic. Type the Young's Modulus and the thermal expansion coefficient. To transfer the temperatures from the thermal analysis results, right-click Loads and Constraints, then select, Transfer Temperatures from Solution. To specify the initial temperature, right-click Loads and Constraints, select New Thermal Stress, then type 22. To eliminate rigid body motion, select a surface, then right-click Loads and Constraints, and select New Fixed Support. Next, run the solver. The result shows the stresses, from the non-uniform temperature distribution. This ends the thermal stress analysis tutorial. Please view the tutorials of the other analysis types, that are available in LISA.